I'm waiting to cross the street here. This light takes forever. Uh, it's like 11.15, slightly later, like 20 minutes later that I wanted to get out, but plan is I need 28 hours. Like 15 and 13, 16 and 12, something like that. And I'll be good, so 15 or 16 today. All right, a quick six hours later, I played my first session of today. Have like a half hour between now, just picked up from cash, and uh, the player appreciation tournament starting. So I'm gonna walk around and get a drink and something to eat, and then head back in there. Starts at uh, six, 10 minutes of late registration. And after that is done, then over there, Somewhere over there is uh, Caesar's Palace. Just play Caesar's the rest of the night, like seven to eight hours. I played, uh, what was it? I think like five hours, 45 minutes about. Exact time, I just played cash over at Valley's on the screen. And yeah, the free roll probably take like an hour, an hour and a half, 6.45. Then like, yeah, at least seven at Caesar's would set me up, nice, set me up nicely for tomorrow. Um, yeah, because of the multiplier, a lot of people qualified, a lot of people playing poker, getting their extra credits. 82 people joined. I think my first one when I came back to town last month, we had 37, 36 cash. So 82 people were in. I got crippled in the second orbit, somehow still cashed, because I'm amazing at cashing these things, even though I'm terrible at actually winning hands in these things. And yeah, an hour 56 minutes it took uh, for me. I late registered and then played an hour 56 minutes. So I calculated it. Seven hours, 25 minutes here in Caesar's Palace, and that sets me up for a 13 hour day tomorrow to complete the challenge. So if I sit and like only leave occasionally to like use the bathroom, that will mean I play until about 4.30. And then that's actually not awful. If I can be asleep by six and wake up by like 12.30, sleep six and a half hours, and then play from like, 1.30 p.m. tomorrow through 3, something like that, 4 o'clock, it's, it's not insane, I can actually get more than like 3 hours sleep, so 7 hours 25 minutes here is the goal, uh, if it starts dying down, maybe I head back to Valley's for like the last hour, but I really need like at least 7 hours here. Okay, I'm back in my room. It's uh, looking unlikely for the 50. I played, I did play over 10 hours today, and I'm at 32 hours and three minutes so far in the uh, in the first three days of the four. So 18 tomorrow isn't impossible. I mean, I've played 18 hours in a day before, but it's looking unlikely. Um, <sighs> all right, um, just a lot, a lot of terrible things have happened uh, while I've been playing. Uh, these three days, last week, the week before, you know, since I got back to Vegas, and it's not nearly as bad as last year, but it's like that similar feel to it, where it gets to the point where, like, I come into a hand pre-flop, and I'm basically thinking, there's no chance I win, whatever the other guy needs, he's gonna get exactly that, and I don't know, it's just... It's to a point where I don't feel like putting in like the 15 hour day I planned on. Still playing, still need to play. No matter how terrible things are, I need to play. Uh, there's no way around that. And I mean Friday, that video you saw right before this challenge where the thumbnail was uh, me and Gus in Bally's. I mean, I played 13 hours that day. I played uh, 13 hours day one of this challenge. I played nine hours yesterday, I played 10 hours today. Like I'm there, it's just like, there's a limit to how many hours I can and feel like playing when like this many things are going poorly. There was uh, even though I won at Bally's, I lost to like two ridiculous backdoors on day one of this uh, challenge. I lost to an insane backdoor also on uh, the biggest pot I've played since I've been back in Vegas. I lost to a ridiculous backdoor and then I sat down at Caesars and uh, Kings got cracked, Kings got cracked and a straight flush draw uh, completely missed and 
still still ended up winning on the day but it was like more so than the money it was like just the amount of like frustration and annoyance and uh i got to like 10 hours and a few minutes and just didn't feel like staying another five to like keep pace for what i felt i needed to do this challenge so i'm gonna keep playing i mean tomorrow we'll have a video i just um realistic and it's unlikely and uh figure i'll probably end up with like i don't know around 44 hours instead of 50 which is good 44 hours in four days is good we'll see what the exact number is uh, after tomorrow's done but yeah it was just like too much stuff too much stuff since uh not really on the drive out here those seven states in one day not really uh underground in kansas at all the, the one hour in winstar i didn't play long in winstar i was very tired but really once i got back to vegas uh not only has it been annoying it's like very reminiscent of how last year started and just didn't feel like staying and it's how tired and hungry i am uh very tired because i'm barely sleeping to do these hours and also when i'm just at the table there's not even time to eat so i was like very tired and hungry and every hand was just going as bad as possible pretty much so uh just didn't feel like quite playing until like 4 a.m 4 30 a.m like i planned i left at like 11 15 or so so it's still possible and this is actually a good transition there's a an idea for a video i've been having i'm probably going to make it soon and it'll probably go up within a week of the video you're watching getting published it's about uh, for me personally, I can't speak for anyone else in the world uh, when he or she goes out to play poker, but for me personally, like the threshold to be willing to play a lot of hours and like actually play those hours. Uh, I'll go more into it, but at this point tonight in this uh, day three of this challenge, just like too many terrible things have been happening uh, lately to make me want to like play well past like the 10 hour mark in a single day. So I needed 12 and a halves. Uh, that was the average for four days to meet this challenge, and I'm at like 10.3 or something like that. Somewhere between 10 and 11 is the average so far, but it's not 12 and a half, and it's looking unlikely. So I'll see everyone tomorrow, and it is, yeah, it's only 12.35 for me right now. Planned on still being downstairs and across the street and uh, still playing like four more hours. That's just not going to happen, but those are the reasons why still will play. Still been playing a lot since I've been back, just... uh yeah, 50 in four days is, is a tall order uh, under any conditions, especially with uh, how this week has gone. So I called it a night a little early, and I'm going to go to sleep pretty soon and actually get some rest today.